Drugs, that's right. Um, so here's our soul. Soul is your... What is your soul? It's your passions. Your desires. Emotions. Your emotions. These are all the things we've been talking about what the soul is, right? Intentions. All of your experiences, or you could call them your memories. Memory. They're all in your soul. The soul has free will. It also has love. All of us have some amount of love in our soul generally as well, right? That's our soul. Here's our soul. Now, what happens with our soul, obviously, is we receive different types of emotions. And we can classify some types of emotions as truth-based emotions. Love is a truth-based emotion. There are other ones like wisdom, power, joy. You know, there's lots of different truth-based emotions that go into our soul. There are also lots of different, what I call, error-based emotions, or you could also call them fear-based emotions, right? And they are all the kind of emotions of unworthiness, emptiness, loneliness, all those kind of things enter our soul. Now, our souls, remember, have personality. And what I've generally found myself in terms of interaction with people is that there are people who are more naturally passionate than others. Do you know what I mean? Who, who are really, really sensitive to emotion, more sensitive it seems sometimes than anyone else around them, right? And usually those people are also very, very sensitive to error entering them. Now, the error, remember, enters you particularly during the t from the time you are reincarnated and through your childhood in particular, right? That's when the error enters you. And then you start acting upon the error and creating more error. Mm -hmm. right? But the causal error, the real guts of the stuff usually happens during our own childhood. Now, as that enters us, if our personality is a very sensitive or passionate personality, we will try to come up with different ways to cope with that error, to cope with it emotionally. And one of those things that we'll do is we'll turn to different forms of denial. Now, there are society, from a society's perspective, there are forms of denial that are acceptable. But being busy is one of them. Right? Busy your life, that's acceptable. That's an acceptable form of denial. What are other acceptable forms of denial that we use nowadays, do you think? Sorry? Entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. So I get involved in entertaining myself all the time. You know, movies, DVDs, going out, you know, all just keeping myself busy with entertainment. What is another form of Success. Success, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, did, what did somebody else say? I was just going to say, try to excel in some... Yeah, area. excelling. You know, making yourself excel. That's that's acceptable form of denial. Right? What are the non-acceptable forms of denial with our society today? Drugs. Drugs. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. <coughs> sex. Gambling. You know, gambling. <laughs> laziness. 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 <laughs> Right. Can you see what's happening is we are actually judging the forms of denial. Now, when a child grows up with lots of judgment about forms of denial, they split into two categories. They rebel or they follow the judgment. They go along with the judgment. So they will either go down the rebellious path, and some of you have done that in your own life, right? Go down the rebellious path and forms of denial. And some of you have also gone down this path of acceptable forms of denial. And our children do this all the time. And more and more our children are choosing non-conforming forms of denial. Oh, yes. uh, and the reason why is because we are trying, because of our own denial. So all forms of abuse began during the childhood, all forms of abuse of drugs, alcohol and those kind of things, began while our children were, were little and we have imposed certain forms of denial upon them that they have either accepted and in the case of that busied themselves and done all the things we've done or rejected right which they've then gone down the track of doing the opposite things drugs alcohol abuse sex whatever right? 
right? The key for us is to see them all as the same, without judgment. To see them all just as forms of denial, of underlying emotion that we need to experience. What about the use of drugs in shamanistic culture, etc., where they're used to break through emotional blocks or mind things to, to get to the spiritual understanding? Yeah, I know that they, uh, that's the thought that they are used for. And the truth is actually quite different when you look at what's happening at the spirit body level. At the spirit body level, when you take anything that modifies in a, that, that, that is dealing with emotional substances, what actually happens in your spirit body when you take drugs, even just marijuana, I know this might upset a few of you, there, there is a modification of the energy flow in your spirit form because it changes the way your spirit form copes with energy flowing within it. And my suggestion is just my, my suggestion is to avoid all of those things and look at the underlying emotional reason why you're reaching for that particular substance. Now, a lot of the so-called shamanistic culture is is treated as a developed culture, but in reality, in the spirit world, it has a lot of roots in some very dark emotions. And so many of the spirits who are connected with these people are in a dark place, actually, and wanting drugs in order to still look after some of their own emotions. And so there's a very strong spirit connection with drugs. For that reason, many people who take drugs uh, when they're very young go into schizophrenic stages. Mm -hmm. What that state is, is actually a spirit. When you're in a, in a drug state, a spirit is, it can more easily take over your, your body, if you like, and your, and your mind, and you enter a relationship with the spirit on a fairly permanent basis. So there are a lot of illnesses today that are actually related to what dr a drug does to your body and how it opens you up spiritually, and then how it connects you with a spirit. And most of the time, the spirits who are connecting to those to those um, emotions are spirits who are already in quite a poor emotional state themselves.